This year, 2021, is the centenary of the first Western expedition to Everest. So it's the perfect moment to produce a book that celebrates five key Everest expeditions from the very first expedition in 1921 through to the superb achievement um, in 1953 of achieving the summit. Peter Gilman has put this project together for us. Peter is a highly respected and award-winning mountaineering writer and one of the most knowledgeable experts on this subject. He selected the photographs, wrote the detailed narrative captions, made the entire selection. The first volume is a marvellous book of photographs, over 260 photographs from the Royal Geographical Society archives. Volume two is a collection of eyewitness accounts. Again, it's the story of the five expeditions told mostly in the climber's own words. We had to work very closely with the Royal Geographical Society. It's an immense privilege to be able to work with such an institution. The Royal Geographical Society was founded in 1830. The space we're in today is the Society's foil reading room and we have here the world's leading collection linked to the history of Everest exploration. Over 25,000 individual images that came back as a result of those expeditions. So we thought you might like to have a look at these, um, which are the 35mm slides from the Everest 53 expedition. My name's Emma Ellis and I'm the Managing Picture Editor at the Folio Society. The pictures are so important here because some of the landscape is so hard to describe in words, but having it in photos really showed you the challenges that they had to go through to make those journeys. How did Peter do it then, Emma? Did he choose the photographs first or did he write the captions first? No, the captions came, the story? came at the end, mm -hmm. so it was really all about the pictures. There's a lot of culture as well as mountains in there. You've got Tibetan women, there's the monasteries, the Sherpas were really, you know, who wanted to make sure that these people were featured. And then obviously the panoramas. There's two really special panoramas that allow you to capture the mountain range and the scale really of the men within those surroundings. We've got a lot out of working with the Folio Society and we've been able to reassess the material that we host here and that we protect. Many of those early 1920s expedition images are on silver nitrate and so the images had to be checked against those original negatives and where we didn't already have a scan, we would have to make sure that we were able to obtain a scan directly from the negative. There's nothing quite as fine as this in relation to some of the newly digitised content that we are able to offer access to. The book is introduced by Wade Davis, who is a Canadian explorer himself, fascinated by the very early Everest expeditions. He puts it all in context, in the context of the Great Game, in the context of the First World War, and he's full of admiration for these climbers. We have a preface from Jan Morris, the great travel writer. She was the only journalist with the 1953 expedition. It's a marvellous piece. It's short, it's beautifully written, but it has such expression in it and such feeling. The Folio Society has an incredible team of, of very skilled people in the production department and the design department, the art directors. And for this book, we've given it our all. There are many books that have been published on Everest, but I think ours is really exceptional. Having looked at the finished product, it's an amazing high quality book. It's a wonderful reflection of all of that hard work. And I think also it's an important book to commemorate the roles of all of the people who were involved in the early expeditions. I think we've made a book that's worthy of the subject and I'm really proud of it.